this is Ronnie. I was just looking over this winch. I got my welding done, reinforcing the front and reinforcing the back. And I had a couple little burn throughs, but boy, this puppy ain't going anywhere. I got to just touch up a little welding where I got a couple drips that weren't ever dripping before. Not even where I welded, but it popped some of the little seams down here from heat expansion and contraction and it pops in their little tiny wells but here i was just looking at this winch the killer winch that i don't know if you can still see the black and blue on my arm there and my thumb is still puffed my wrist is still puffed up yeah the killer winch from harbor freight that one right there that's a heavy duty winch but man they're not only okay now listen close i tell you about engineering 101 or 101 6.825 or whatever this thing is engineered negative two million and whatever to one this not okay it does not have a spring-loaded safety to keep it from unwrapping with that handle with weight on it like i was doing it, it does not have a spring safety anywhere. You see this big spring here? You see this? I'm going to show you this totally miserable, idiotic, killing machine design. You see this spring right here? That's not a spring-loaded safety. That's a spring-loaded release to cut it loose. There's not a walking paw anywhere except... Right down here. Right here. See that locks in? I hope you can see it. Right where I'm pointing that screw. That locks in the cock. If I crank it, I'll see. I can't see with the glare. But if I go to tighten it, it stays right there. And it'll trip over. But <laughs> that spring, now I got all kinds of horsepower pressure against here. And, uh, yeah, this, this, that is to keep it from unraveling out and this going and bashing my freaking arm out of hell, but it's the other arm because I'm pointing. Now, watch this, though. This, I got, I'm going to back it off just one click. Uh, okay. And I'm going to show you how this thing works. It, so it's. It is locked. Okay, now it is locked. There's pressure on this strap. Not a whole lot, but it's locked. That spring here is, it doesn't do anything to keep this right here locked. If you look at the coil, it coils this way where this lock is. It, it attempts to push it down, but, and then here, but the spring pressure forces it this way, okay? The spring pressure, it's got this little tiny hook to kind of hold it down from all the coils. It's latched on here to give it some down pressure, okay? But this whole spring is compressed while it's inside here, okay? So watch what happens. It's not made to keep it locked. It is spring-loaded to release it. Just watch this. If I take my hand and pump that lever right here, it's going to automatically unhook. You see that? Let me do that again for you. It's, it automatically unwinds, unsafeties. There's not even another safety. It automatically... All you have to do is bump this lever right here. All you have to do is bump this lever uh, 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 a quarter of an inch here. Bump this lever. It's not spring-loaded. It's spring-loaded to kick it into neutral. Get it? Watch this. I'm going to... Oh, uh, this thing scares me. Watch it. It's spring-loaded. It'll automatically kick it into neutral. There it is. Bump it. You bump that lever. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, we'll tighten it up another click. You bump this lever right here. It automates. Not, there's nothing anywhere to lock this. And if, like I said, that boat weighed 100, you know, hanging straight up and down. 
you know, 160, 170 pounds. Hanging, but yeah, bumped. I'm going, how did that trip? Well, I must have bumped the leg. I didn't even have my hand on the handle or anything. All you have to do, let me pan back a little. All you have to do to unhook this, it is spring loaded to unroll, not safely spring loaded to stay safe and tight. Let's back up. Watch that. Watch the handle go and shit. See that? <laughs> Let's do that again. It automatically releases. There's not not just no safety. It automatically releases. I'm gonna see if I can show you one more time here. All I'm gonna do is bump this handle up. This spring is gonna kick it out and let it loose. There's nothing else. That's it. You bump this, something bumps it, it'll kill, shit, it'll kill a kid. Watch this again. Watch the handle and my hand. There's no weight on it. If there was weight on it, this thing would have been going, wee, 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 wee. You get my drift? I'm like, how in the hell was I so stupid to get whacked by this thing? Well, it's spring loaded. You just see me have to pull that spring to lock it against the spring to lock it. The spring should theoretically, even one safety point, lock it into place. Hell no. Watch this again. That's it. That's it. Harbor Freight. I said, you guys, I'm going to send you another copy of this. There, it's tight, okay? It's spring-loaded to release it, not to keep it locked until you take your hand, put it on this handle, and then take the pressure off and then reach around somewhere to hold and take the pressure off. Oh, no, that makes too sense. You know, Snowflakes engineered this for him. Watch this again. You bump this handle, it automatically releases, and everything comes crashing on your little kid's head or your grandson's head, or busts you up or them up. Watch this again. You ready? Watch that handle. And that's when that's sitting still, no weight on it.